tell her the story about how um, I came to be, how mom and dad met. Well, my sister came out here to visit and married Cindy's mother, or Leo's cousin, dad. And she just came out to visit me and, and just married him. <laughs> uh, she. Uh, she never said anything, but we think she had a boyfriend she broke up with and probably got mad. And she came out to visit. And uh, my dad was dating a girl here, and she wanted to get married. But she had some other ideas about my uncle, who was also was already married to my aunt. Anyway, dad told her, that he couldn't marry her because he was going to marry Thelma's sister when she got here. <laughs> and Mom got here on the 4th of August. And I guess Dad, they were over here in living on the ranch, and Dad drove up and down the road and waited for somebody <laughs> to come out and tell him to come in. And then he met Mom. And that, that was the 4th of, uh, of July, and they got married the 18th of August. Wow. <laughs> so Thelma had never become a pain, uh, pen pal with Leo. I would never have been here. <laughs> or yeah. me. Or you. Yeah. I wonder if it had never been for the World War II. Mm -hmm. I never, probably never would have been here either. Who were, who were your friends in the community when you, you know, when you came out? Who were the other people that you became close to? Well, at Ross's, Susie's mom and dad, and uh, McGill's. Well, McGill's are related to us. Not through the Britain side, but on the Parker side. Uh, Lane McGill's grandmother was a uh, first cousin to Leo's mother. And uh, it was on the friends Parker side of the family. What about uh, the pizzas? Mm -hmm. Well, the pizzas were on the wing side. I no, know, but, but for friends. Yeah, they were. Pete's, Dorothy and Billy Pete's mm -hmm. lived over here mm -hmm. to this or Pete's ranch, and they were our closest friends, and Ross's, mm -hmm. and. Um, well, it wasn't very many people here when I first came here, except farmers, just the farmers. Mm -hmm. And you see somebody go down the road, you know who it was and where <laughs> they were going, <laughs> what they were going for. Yeah, and you always knew when somebody got a new car. Yeah. Yeah. Because you recognized yeah. every car that went by. Were you lonely? Being away from your family, were you lonely as a young woman? Yeah, the first year I was here, I think I went back home four times. I wow. couldn't make up my mind I was going to stay in this place. <laughs> it took me about two or three years to get used to and decide I would stay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I went back home a lot of times. How did you travel? Did you go by train? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody flew then. The first time I flew was 1960, and my mm -hmm. mama was sick. And my mom went to the hospital and uh, thought she was going to die. That she did two months later. But anyway, I, we flew back there. And that was 1960. Went on train before then. Mm -hmm. But she, and mom and daddy came out here over summer, spent the summer out here with us. Any... Um I have that same picture too. <laughs> oh, oh. Any, one, of, uh, one of Dad's relatives is in that picture, I think. That uh -huh. one with the white pants on over there, and oh. on the far left. Yeah. He on the far left. On the far left. Oh. Is that a scalpel? Orville. Orville Flynn. Orville Flynn. Yes. He's huh. he's related. Well, maybe it's not the same, but it's of Salilo, but it looks. That's a print. Yeah, that's a print that Wilma Roberts had. Uh, Orville drowned right close to that place, uh, 1947. Leo 
feast off of that same scalpel. Wow. Where Orville is. Wow. He had a, a commercial license, mm -hmm. and Leo helped him fish. Huh. My uh, grandfather drowned in the, at Shears Falls. Oh, really? In, uh, oh. Who was that? Who uh, was your grandfather? Uh, Allie Gronwald. And he was... He was superintendent of the schools out here. That was back in like 29, I think, 28 oh or 29, my. 1928 or 29. And his, they were fishing on the Deschutes above Shears Falls, and his son Gerald fell in, and he went in after him, and they both drowned. There. I've heard that story. Yeah. Yeah, that was my grandfather's twin brother. And then my grandfather died a year later of cancer. So mm. the mother lost her only two sons wow. you know, within a, and her grandson within a year mm. of each other. How awful. Yeah. Yeah.